my name is Tanyara Zomtizwa. Today we're in the city of Kings and Queens, Kwabulawayo. We're going to be to be interviewing Kastabin farmers. We have Tuvelitle and we have Ba. We are in Matebalai North Province at Mguza Irrigation Estate. That's where we are planting our castor beans. We have planted uh, one hectare of castor beans since 14th of April. So we, we started harvesting after four months from there. And well, to be honest, um, when we started this, I had a full-time job, but I wanted to farm something that didn't uh, require much of my time. So what I did is I googled about it. As soon as I found out about it, then got in touch with uh, Portia, uh, bought the seeds, and I started farming this. And it didn't require me to be here all the time. So I'll be here maybe weekends, and then during the week I'll do my full-time job. Uh, here we did about seven, uh, about seven cages. Because after planting, we had about three cages left. And how much manure do you guys use? Because I understand this is an organic plant. Yeah, we're just putting just a handful. Manure. 4,000 plants so far where we harvested from and we're looking forward to harvesting more because some of them are still germinating up to now so we just need to maybe do a little bit of cultivating put more manure then in February we should be having our second harvest so as you can see we've got different kinds of um, castor beans in our, um, our field so they all germinate in different times and we pick them up every after about two days because if you delay they pop up and then they fall to the ground. It's very simple how we teach our farmers how to plant the castor bean. We ask them to make a small hole of four inches, drop their castor seed, cover it with soil mm -hmm. and put water until it's germinated. Once it's germinated, you don't have to worry about your plant just uproot the weeds around the plant so that they don't suffocate it mm -hmm. and let it grow. Once it's grown, it will give you four months time. It will be ready to harvest. And when you harvest, you bring back your yield straight to us. Within two weeks, you have your money ready. So when your plant is ready to harvest, it becomes dry. When it's like this, don't pick your pods one by one. You simply cut the stamp, the bottom of the stamp, and throw your stamp on the ground on a drying station. A drying station is just an open area under this that the sun can hit and allow the drying process to happen. So it can be on any ground where there's no shade and no water. Collect manure, collect a, a, a rotting anything in their kitchen, throw it in your field and nurture your soil. It also needs a lot of water. For you to have heavy, heavy beans, you need lots of water. It um, increases the oil content in our seeds. And this oil, we convert it into different products, from all the way from skin products to medicine and to industrial uses like plastic rubber and biodiesel. Um, I will go into straight into our varieties. We've got different varieties. Right now I'm holding our industrial um, castor plant. It's a hybrid Zanzibar. This is used for plastic, biodiesel, uh, motor oils, whatever we really want to do because it's got a lot of acidity and oil content. Mm -hmm. I understand that the, the climate in, in Matavela land, it's, there are no rains here. Yeah, like, that's why you find out that most farmers do not want to venture into most crops, like farming activities, yeah, you just do livestock clearing and all that. So what efforts are you making as a farmer who has seen that there is actually potential in a crop that suits your climate? Um, if funds permit, mm -hmm. um, I would like to draw one or two balls here so that mm -hmm. we can uh, keep on watering our plants because what we've seen is um, this plant needs more water and once you don't uh, water then your seeds won't have much pollen. Mm -hmm. What about other farmers? Do you have farmers who come here asking about the plant and what advices are you giving them? Uh, yes, we get about one or two visitors almost every week mm -hmm. and then we advise them to take up the challenge and farm custard beans because we've seen that there is future in it. They can actually make money while they are working somewhere else and then um, 
can actually um, make a fortune from this. So what would you say are the key key benefits of using Castor Wall as the person who's marketing them? I'm actually telling my clients that it works for different things. It either grows hair, it also removes pimples, it also removes uh, stretch marks. Like, 100% organic and it's actually working well on my clients. No reaction, nothing.